Good morning, YouTube modeling community. This is Rusty Rotor with a Mental Monday. Uh, as I told you before, it's the complete opposite of Purus. Uh, Purus is amazing in its own right. Uh, I just never follow those guidelines. Uh, my genre that I like to build the most uh, are pro stock, pro street, pro touring, and resto mods. Uh, I kind of like I kind of like all those. Uh, I am an old school hot router, you know, all that, but, uh, you know, pro touring is somewhat the complete opposite because it, even though some, sometimes they do exist in the real world, uh, they're those one off, you know, crazy builds. Uh, most of them that are to the extreme are, you know, trailer queens that go to shows or they were built for SEMA or by a, uh, a, uh, car shop to, uh, get recognized, you know, or recognition for their shop. Uh, these are the crazy, you know, the wide body hot rods, uh, you know, big, huge, tall tires in the rear, deep dish, uh, you know, the big 1400 horsepower engines underneath the hood, uh, custom suspension, custom chassis, uh, you know, new technology all throughout the whole car. That's kind of where I lie. I, I like all that because it's a possibility of, you know. I can put whatever I want to in the car and it doesn't have to be a hundred percent exact, uh, or pure. Uh, and that's what I like. So, you know, it, it's a quick, quick topic, quick discussion. Uh, you know, I, I just go, when I get a kid, I go down that rabbit hole of, I look at it and I, I, I think of everything I can throw into it. Uh, and that's kind of where I like, uh, it doesn't mean that it's real. It's accurate, but it's, you know, at the end of it, the build's done. It's, it's really cool because, you know, it, it's a what if. It, it could. It, it's a possibility. Uh, and some I do, if it's, you know, a certain build, I follow all the guidelines of the real car. You know, that's a replica build. And that's generally what I do is, you know, I replicate somebody else's real car. Uh, uh, some I do for customers. You know, most of them I do for myself. Uh, I, I, I fall right in that resto mod on most of the, most of the kits. Uh, I like the new engine, you know, the new, new tires and wheels, the custom interior with the old school body. Uh, so you're going to see a lot of that. Um, you know, that's why I created, you know, the mental Mondays. It's just stuff that's on my head that, you know, I spout out there. Uh, it's not trying to sway you to one specific type of build, but you know, it's just me. That's, that's where I fall at and under and that's how I build. Uh, you'll see me build other things on here. I'm forcing myself to get outside of my comfort zone and try new things. And uh, I think we're in the right direction for that. Uh, I want to thank everybody out there, uh, you know, for for one for you. You know, I, I just, I wouldn't have anything here, you know, no reason to keep going. Uh, you guys have been showing me a lot of love. I appreciate it. Keep it going. Uh, always drop me a comment, thumbs up, a subscription. Uh, if you like everything I'm doing, uh, you know, I am, I, I, I'm doing this for two benefactors. For me, it, it, it gets me out of my comfort zone and I, I get to share my work with you and show you what I do and how I do it and what drove me to do it uh, and, my, and my process along the way. So, uh, you know, I know Mental Mondays don't do that good, but this is a way for me to vent a little bit about, you know, me, myself and I, so to speak. So, uh, I always leave my email down in the descriptions. Uh, there is some big things coming to the channel. I think they're big. Others may not, but it, it, it is to me. Uh, because it, it's in that bucket list of things that I, I've always wanted to do and be able to do uh, as a modeler. Uh, and I have since I was a young kid. Uh, being a young kid, probably in my teens. Uh, so, you know, if you want to come along this journey with me, you know. Drop me a sub, doesn't cost you nothing. Tell everybody you know, come check me out. Uh, they may like it, they may not, you know, that, that's fine too. Uh, just keep it respectful. Uh, you know, you wanna communicate via email, we can do that too. Uh, shop cards, trade, all, I'm up for all that. So, uh, you know, just let me know. And, uh, you know, it was just a quick thing. I could have spouted it off for hours about you know what I do I mean you guys see it when I show you these builds how in-depth I go on detail uh, I will pull one off the shelf that I'm working on uh, it's a Trans Am 
I think it's the new Revell 73, 71, 70 Trans Am. Hold on a second. Where'd it go? 1970. Uh, over the course of two years, I've invested about a thousand dollars almost. I'm real close to it, uh, and probably will be over by the time it's said and done into this kit. But keep in mind, this is being built to take to shows. It is a show piece. It's not the everyday or the month build or the week build that I normally do. Uh, and you know, it, it's, it's going to be, you know, it's my vision. There's, I, it's not a car I'm going by. It's not replicated from anything. It's just all coming out of my head. Uh, but I've, you know, purchased parts after parts after parts. All, you know, 3D printed, uh, aftermarket uh, stuff that guys just make. You know, kind of like me, how I tell you, you know, find something and see if you can find who makes that and buy in bulk. It, 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 it's kind of everything rolled up into one. and But yet starting with, a, you know, a base kit. Uh, I'm about 10% into it, uh, the way I track things and keep notes. And it's not a lot. And, you know, it, it drives me nuts, you know, daily that I got that kind of money invested in a, a plastic model. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. But, you know, in, at the end, and when I take it to the show, I want it to win. Hopefully, it'll win uh, something or at least be mentioned, you know, uh, or maybe get a, another picture in a magazine, uh, something, because... It is going to be, it's going to be out of this world. It's, it's the, you know, it's the, what if, what, could this really happen? Could this really be built? And yeah, I mean, I, I, anything can be, especially nowadays with the te technology the way it is. Uh, so we will get that out on a Wednesday. Uh, I'll dedicate a little more time to that one type of video. Uh, and we'll kind of talk piece by piece about it. Everything I got, my vision for it, uh, where I'm at with it. Uh, and then today is also mail call. I did get a lot of shop cards in. Uh, give me a second here. I'll let you keep looking at my ugly mug while I sort through this stuff. Uh, and then we can uh, get through this here pretty quick and everybody can get on with their day. And... Uh, You know, and I, another thing I, I've noticed, you know, through my life that uh, most guys that are, you know, like say you were in the Air Force and uh, you know, that was your whole, your life dream to become a pilot and you know, I've got a cousin that was an F-16 fighter pilot and uh, you know, he moved on from that, and now I mean, he's getting ready to retire, probably, or if he hasn't already, from Delta. Uh, you know, he flew big commercial aircraft. That's That was his dream, was to be a pilot. And uh, he collects, I don't know so much about plastic models, but he collects die-cast aircraft. Uh, you know, that's a hobby itself. So pretty much whatever drives you through your life is, I guess, primarily where you go with your modeling. It doesn't mean you can't get outside the box. But uh, I want to start with... Uh, one part I got in, uh, I had these made. Uh, they're not, they can be, you can purchase these, I guess, and you can contact him. Uh, I've talked about him a hundred times. Brian Jones of Z Force Model Works. Uh, I will, here, probably after this week, I'll be getting links put in to the description down there so you guys can go check these other guys out. Uh, I've <laughs> finally figured out how to do that. Uh, yay me. Yeah, something I should already know how to do, but I don't. But I, I do now. Uh, so I ordered these wheels for a build that's coming up. And we'll be doing this build on the channel. Uh, is, I'm using the Foose kit. This is the base kit. Uh, bone stock engine. What comes with the kit. So it'll be underneath the hood. Because the real truck, I don't know what's underneath the hood. Uh, and, and at this point, I really don't care. Because what caught my eye is the beauty of the truck. Uh, the way it's set. The tires and wheels that are on it. Uh, these are a little different than what was on there and that falls back under you know I, I couldn't get a hold of this gentleman I like getting permission to do something I don't want somebody getting offended well you know I didn't tell you you could do that you know uh, even though I could do it and it's no big deal at the end of the day you know, it's for me uh, 
If it turns out great, I'll, I'll take it to a show just to you know, be able to show everybody. But mainly, building it for you guys. Uh, but it's a food truck. And let's see, without further ado, we'll get around here. And So these were made by Ryan Jones. Uh, there's another gentleman that was making these. And uh, I wasn't going for that specific look that he had on his. They were a little different. Uh, so Ryan came up with these. You always get a set of brake rotors and calipers with every set of wheels. Uh, he can make your tires and wheels the exact width, you know, front and rear, whatever the real car has. Uh, just got you just got to get him the information, uh, and he will go above and beyond. I'm sorry about the glare; they're in plastic. I don't want to take them out. Uh, you know, and these got to be painted. These are total of three pieces: the tire, the sleeve, and the wheel center. Uh, and sometimes it's just, you know, one piece. I, these might be, these are one piece. And now if you have these with the aluminum sleeve, which he does also, uh, they would be, of course, three pieces, the tire, the sleeve, and then the wheel center. But I, I these get painted a certain way, so I didn't want the aluminum uh, sleeve. But very reasonable on price. Good guy to go talk to. He works with you. He shows you every step of the way that he's doing. And he won't print them out until you're happy with the product. So keep that in mind. And this is the packaging they come in. Not only one, but it's inside of another one. I've never gotten a package from this gentleman and anything be damaged. Uh, so keep him in mind. First up, Mark. M-A-R-C of Blue Street Customs. He's on YouTube. He's on Instagram. He has a Facebook page also. Go check this cat out. He does some very unique builds on his channel. He's not, you know, dead set on just one type of car or anything like that. He does trucks, tanks, you know, he, he builds dioramas. Uh, he really cuts these things up and, and creates something out of nothing. Uh, and, you know, you, you can learn something from him. I have. Uh, he's a great guy. Uh, I got the shop card when I was on Instagram. Uh, but, you know, he's, he's, he's a super terrific guy. He lives in Canada. Uh, but go give him a follow. Give him some love. Subscribe to his channel. Uh, he deserves it. He, he puts a lot into his videos. And, uh, you know, he's not asking for nothing in return but a little love. So give it to him. Uh, this gentleman is on Instagram. Uh, he doesn't have shop cards, but he does have stickers. So I'm always up for trading for whatever. Uh, I think he's getting ready to start a YouTube channel. But he does some great work. Uh, you go check out his Instagram page, uh, DB Scale Works. Uh, the gentleman's name is, get it here, Dave Ball. Uh, check him out. You won't be disappointed. Also, Mr. Don, Red Barn Model Works. Uh, he's on Facebook. Uh, I think he has a YouTube channel. I'm not positive on that, but I think he does. Uh, great shop there. Uh, you know, you, you need to check his work out. Uh, he is on Facebook. There you go. Go find him. Uh, give him some love. Thanks for the kind words, Don. I appreciate it. Next, this is the gentleman who's talking about uh, primarily military. You know, he does, look at the, look at the, all the aircraft he does. You know, builds them in series according to the way they've evolved over the years. You know, and just the, the authenticity of of his builds. They're beautiful. Uh, go check his go check his channel out. He is on YouTube. Uh, Mighty JJK Models. Uh, that's one car he has built. He's getting ready to build some more. Great guy. Uh, thanks for the kind words on the back. I appreciate it. Gentleman's name is John. I'm going to spell his last name because I can't say it. K A U C K. Terrific gentleman. I appreciate it, brother. You know, keep keep the models coming. I, I enjoy everything. This gentleman doesn't need no introduction, but he's going to get it. Mr. Mark Basson, Hobby Dude 007. Uh, before YouTube even came around, I, I, I remember reading articles that this gentleman had put in several modeling magazines uh i had seen his work uh 
just, you know, down the channels and then started watching YouTube and found him. So I've been following him for years. He's another one that I follow underneath my wife's account. Uh, so he probably doesn't know it's me liking his posts and everything else, but his work is grade A perfection to me. Uh, even though I know nothing's perfect, it's still, to me, it is. Uh, great sticker. I love the carbon fiber look to that. He's going up on the uh, fridge, and this is going up on the shelf of fame. Mark, I appreciate the kind words on the back. Uh, again, guys, if you're not following uh, Mr. Batson over at, or Hobby Dude 007, get over there and give him a thumbs up and a subscription because it's, it's well worth your time. Uh, and then Mr. Jason from Blue Ox Model Shop. Uh, does great work. He's on Instagram also. But he's on, he has a YouTube channel. He is one of the reasons he nudged me, along with several others, to start up my YouTube channel. Uh, terrific work. Uh, he's got a room just full of models and Hot Wheels and you know anything related to racing and just an all-around great guy. Puts out a great video. Jason, thanks for the kind words, brother. Uh, I appreciate you and all you've done for me. Uh, get over there and check him out. Give him some love. You won't be disappointed. That's all the shop cards. Uh, I told you guys I'm switching to a GoPro. I have the GoPro 9 Black. I'm not tech savvy, so I don't know how good or bad this, this camera is. I know because I got this mainly so when we go on vacations and family events and for my modeling, that this was a good route to go to. Uh, it has a lot of features, a lot of options. The quality is great. I have shot a little video with it and watched it and I was blown away how good it is. So it's definitely better than this phone. This was the piece I was waiting on to come in the mail. Uh, that way I can upload from that to my laptop. Uh, I've been working on it all weekend trying to figure out how to do it. I think I've got it down. Uh, I'm waiting, some, waiting on some feedback here. I should get in the next day or two. Uh, of something big coming to the channel. Uh, I'm blown away as new as this channel is that this opportunity has ar arisen to me or been presented to me. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. So I uh, look for that announcement. That'll probably be a video in itself. Uh, like I said, these videos will vary. It'll be one a week, two, three a week, four a week. I might, some weeks I might throw five in there. It just depends. Uh, before we get out here for today, guys, I want to show you one little thing that I've done. Uh, this shelf space I've dedicated to YouTube builds. As you can see, there's the 29 Ford that we're going to be doing. That's going to get weathered. There's a 31 uh, Chevy pickup. That's just a bag truck. Nothing spectacular, just a build out of the box. Uh, custom paint and wheels. There's the uh, kit we're using for the... Uh, Yellow Charger, uh, can't think of the company's name. There's the Gray Stang, and there's the box for the, the C10. The Ghostbusters diorama, uh, there's Slimer, and then the box underneath him is all the figures. Uh, those were 3D printed and painted by me. And then here's Echo One, and then of course the diorama that'll have everything else in it. Uh, any builds that come in to the channel for a certain reason, whether it's something you guys gifted me or uh, Somebody sent me, there we go, will be put up there on that shelf. Uh, I don't ever expect nothing. I don't take nothing for granted. Uh, I, I've watched other guys' channels. People send people stuff all the time. And, and you know, if you want to do that, it's greatly appreciated, but you don't have to. Uh, you know, this is my hobby. I love doing it. All, all shapes and forms of this hobby. So, uh, you know, you can contact me. Uh, if you guys like this type of videos, you know, that I'm doing all week long, uh, you know, drop me a comment about it. Be respectful. Give me a thumbs up. Sub to the channel. Tell your friends and family. Come do the same. Uh, it's all about spreading, you know, spreading the love around a little bit. It helps everybody out. It helps this channel grow. That way I can bring better things for you guys to see. Uh, because, you know, uh, like anybody else, I'm starting off. I'm limited to what I can do. Uh, and the only way I can do that is get this channel to grow. And, you know, as this channel grows, you guys get to see better content. Uh, 
and, and bigger and bigger and better content, I should say. Uh, and even without that, I have a lot to offer here, uh, just with what I have already. Uh, so I, I, I don't need, I don't need anything, but you know, I know there's those guys, they like to send people stuff and that's fine. Uh, you know, send me an email. It's always down in my descriptions. We can talk about it. Uh, you know, if to me, like it, 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 it's paying it forward. You know, you, you take something of yours and you send it to another modeler, uh, and it's something you're never going to get to. You're never going to build, or it's just something you would never build. Uh, but deserves to be built. You know, these guys out here, they'll build it on their channel, you know. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, again, thank you for everything, guys. That I'm floored every time I check everything. I, I don't even know what sub level I'm at right now. I know it's, it's crazy in the short period of time. Uh, the views have been great on all the videos. Uh, some way better than others. And, and that's fine, too. I don't expect everything to, you know, P can be great, so, uh, but I do appreciate it all, uh, so, we'll see you guys Wednesday, uh, last week for two builds to show, uh, one was a show winner, the other one was the first one that got me back into the hobby, uh, so you'll see two different versions of my builds, uh, so we'll see you guys Wednesday, have a safe week, uh, build some models, this is Rusty Rotor, I'm out.